stay at the end of this video for a sneak peek of what's coming tomorrow, but otherwise, let's get started. Right, so let's make our egg substitute. You will need half a cup of chickpea flour. If you can't find this in your supermarket, you can make this yourself simply by blending dried chickpeas. And also you'll need three quarters of a cup of water, half a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of onion granules or powder, one eighth of a teaspoon of turmeric, one quarter of a teaspoon of cracked black pepper, and a quarter of an organic veggie stock cube. So just pop all your ingredients into a blender or a bowl. I'm just using a blender here for a smoother mix, but you can just whisk in a bowl if you wish. So first up is our chickpea egg breakfast bagel. It's kind of like egg McMuffin style -y. You will need your egg substitute mix, plus egg and dairy-free bagels. These are gluten-free as well, which is great. Two portobello mushrooms, omega shoe cream, and taco sauce as optional toppings, and then any salad ingredients that you like. So you just want to heat up a frying pan to about medium heat and then you want to pour out about two tablespoons of mix per um, chickpea egg and you can see I've used no oil here it's not necessary once you're using a good non-stick frying pan so I'm just plumping up my little chickpea eggs to make them a bit fatter and you want to cook them for about two to three minutes on each side or just until they're golden brown so now we can plate up. I've toasted up my bagels and I've popped on my little um, chickpea eggs, my taco sauce, my cashew cream. Of course you can use whatever toppings that you prefer. And then my fried portobello mushrooms, also fried in no oil. And you're done. Absolutely delish. You never have to miss eggs ever again. But of course we're not done there. We now have our beautiful chickpea, mushroom and spinach omelette to make. You'll need one times your egg substitute mix, plus one small onion, about four button mushrooms, a handful of kale and spinach, and then optional is your cashew cream and your taco sauce. And then whatever salad ingredients that you wish. So just add your onions, mushrooms, and spinach and kale to your frying pan. And you only need to fry these about halfway and then add these into a bowl. Right, so add your egg mixture on top and just give it a bit of a stir until everything's incorporated. And now add this to your frying pan, again on about medium heat, and you don't need any oil. So now I'm just using my spatula to go around the edges to help any sticking. And then I've used a plate to flip it. And you want to cook it for three minutes on either side, six minutes in total. So now you're ready to plate up and add your little side salad if you wish and any delicious toppings that you like. This omelette kind of reminds me of a frittata. It's so tasty and to me tastes even better than if I was to use eggs. And for those worried about protein, the egg substitute mix alone contains roughly 14 grams of protein. It's high in folate, manganese and fiber. On to recipe number three, our chickpea scramble breakfast oat wrap. You will need as always your egg substitute mix, plus some wraps or tortillas. Here I've used my oat wraps, and then some butt mushrooms, and then any dressings of choice, and any salad ingredients of choice. So you want to tip out your mix onto your frying pan and then just spread it out and then when it starts to bubble you can scoop it up of course it doesn't matter if it breaks apart because it's scrambled so we're going to break it up anyway so just use your spatula to kind of break off little bits and at this point it doesn't look massively like scramble so i add in a quarter cup of almond milk and you can just use water or any non-dairy milk of choice and that gives it our scrambly texture. And I'd just like to mention for those who like to keep it low sodium like I do, you can leave out the baking powder in the scramble recipe. It tastes just as good without it. Okay, look, so get your fillings ready and grab a tortilla or an oat wrap. And I filled it up with my scramble, my fried mushrooms, some cherry toms, some mescaline, my cashew cream and taco sauce. 
and then just roll it up carefully the oat wraps are more delicate than normal tortillas so you have to be a wee bit more careful what I love about these oat wraps are that they're just water and oats and that's it perfect if you're trying to avoid gluten and perfect again if you want to keep it low sodium so that is it our three delicious egg alternative recipes super tasty nutrient dense high in protein satiating and cruelty free and chickpeas help lower cholesterol